So my final verdict on whether cold air intakes are actually worth it or not is I think that they... Today I'm going to be installing a cold air intake from SMB on my 5.3 liter Silverado and discussing whether they're worth it or not. I'm also going to be talking about whether the claims around horsepower and torque are true, as well as talking about sound changes, throttle response, and whether I see an increase in fuel economy or not. Let's get into it. So the first step of the installation, and you definitely don't want to skip this step, is disconnecting the negative terminal on the battery. If you fail to do so, this may cause the check engine light to illuminate upon completion of the install. Next, we're going to remove the push clips holding down the large plastic air diverter. So once we remove that, we can go ahead and set it aside. Now remove the push clip holding the top of the air inlet tube in place, and then disconnect and remove the support braces around it. With this support brace, if you just take out the top bolt and then bend it down, that'll give you enough room to remove the air inlet tube. Loosen the nut with captive washer holding down the stock air box and then set this nut aside for reuse. Carefully disconnect the large wire harness at the front of the air intake, pull and tilt the harness towards the rear of the vehicle to help disconnect the harness. Disconnect the MAF harness, pull back on the red tab to unlock the connector, press down on the black tab directly under the red tab and pull rearwards to disconnect the connector. Now disconnect the crankcase vent tube at both ends by pressing down on the gray quick disconnect buttons. Loosen the hose clamp on the throttle body. The stock airbox tube is connected to a bracket attached to the alternator. Go ahead and remove this bolt. Now that the airbox is loose, we can go ahead and remove the airbox from the engine bay. Remove the mass airflow sensor from the stock airbox lid and install the mass airflow sensor into your new intake tube. Use the supplied mass airflow sensor gasket and pad along with the supplied screws. Take care that the mass airflow sensor pad and sensor are orientated correctly on the tube. Install the new air box into the vehicle, sliding the prongs into their holes and lowering the box onto the stud. Reinstall the nut with captive washer onto the stud from the inside of the air box. Insert the stock air inlet tube into the inlet seal on the SMB air box. The stop on the stock air inlet tube should be touching the seal when fully inserted. It may be helpful to guide the tube with one hand inside the air box. Reattach the push clip for the air inlet tube and reinstall the support brackets. Snap the new filter into the air box. The installation is easiest when the snap is chased around the perimeter of the filter base, starting with the lowest point of the filter. Install the intake tube into the vehicle, first mounting the coupler onto the throttle body, then swinging the tube down into the filter flange. Tighten all hose clamps. Connect the mass airflow sensor harness extension cable to the stock mass airflow sensor harness and tighten the pushing cable tie. Install the straight end connector of the hose assembly to the engine and the right angle connector to the intake tube. Now attach the snap-in lid seal to the SMB clear lid. Reinstall the large plastic air diverter. At this point, you can reconnect the battery connections. Inspect your installation, ensure the kit is properly positioned and all fasteners are secure.
So are cold air intakes actually worth it? And are you going to see that increase in horsepower and torque? Well, it really depends on what you're going to be doing to your vehicle. If you're going to be putting on headers and exhaust and other things along with your cold air intake and also potentially a tune, you're definitely going to want to see that increased in airflow from the cold air intake. And that's going to get you that horsepower and torque. When you're adding a cold air intake to a stock engine, you can definitely see some increases in horsepower and torque as you are going to be increasing the airflow into your engine. As you guys can see by the chart on the screen, you definitely get an increase in airflow by putting an SMB cold air intake on your vehicle, and that's definitely going to increase your horsepower and your torque. So what's the verdict when it comes to increase in fuel economy? Well, I've been driven around for about 650 kilometers and I've gotten 15.0 liters per 100 kilometers. And then before I drove around 750 kilometers and I got just over 15 liters per 100. So it's definitely comparable. There may be an increase slightly. Obviously there's a lot of variables that come into play when it comes to fuel economy, uh, how you're driving, where you're driving, hills, speed, you know, city driving versus highway driving, all of that stuff. So take that with a grain of salt but i have seen a slight increase in fuel economy one thing i have really noticed though is throttle response it's definitely improved as i found it was a little bit sluggish before with this vehicle but now i feel like i just touched the gas and it actually wants to go so that's a big improvement if you guys are interested in buying a cold air intake for yourself there is a link in the description below as well as all the materials including the instruction guide the dyno testing that i saw from knn for comparison as well as the iso 5011 test that SMB does for their cold air intakes. And finally, when it comes to sound, I was actually a little disappointed. I thought it would really liven up the engine and you can hear an increase in sound. It does sound a little bit louder. It did wake the engine up a little bit, but I thought it was going to really liven up the engine, uh, but it didn't. But still overall, very happy with it. So my final verdict on whether cold air intakes are worth it or not. Well, it depends, and I'm sure you guys aren't really happy with that answer, but it really depends on what other modifications you're going to be doing to your vehicle. Do I think the cold air intake was worth it just on a stock engine? Well, I kind of like the sound. It does sound a little bit better. The throttle response is a little bit better. I may have seen a little bit of improvement in fuel economy and a little bit of horsepower and torque, but not enough that you know $450 is going to warrant. And overall, though, I am happy with the purchase, but... I thought that I was going to get more for my purchase. If you're going to be adding a different modifications along with a tune afterwards, cold intakes are definitely a must, but for a stock engine, you can go either way. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and as well, giving it a like until next time. Take care.